from inside NeoVim, you can check the color schemes by typing colon color scheme space and hit the tab key. And these files are the default color schemes that came with the installation. And the files are located inside the global config directory. To check where that config directory is in your system, you can press equal and vim runtime. So we can go into that global config directory and we can see that there's a folder called colors and inside this folder is where all of the color scheme files are stored. If you do not like any of the color scheme, then you can just delete the file from this folder. You can also add a new one by dropping a new file but the better place to do that will be your user config directory. The user config directory is where all of the user specific configuration should be made rather than here. The user config directory for NeoVim is under the home folder dot config slash mvim. And when first installed, you wouldn't have any folders in this directory. You can just create another colors folder. And whatever you put inside this colors folder will be added as your new color scheme. I have put together many of the most popular color schemes from around GitHub in one repo. To see how popular each of these themes are, you can go to their respective GitHub page and you can see how many stars it has accumulated over the years. For example, Groovebox, one of the most popular themes around, it has 8,000 stars. And another one is Solarized theme, which has more than 6,000 stars. Let's try adding some of the themes to our new event. You can download this file by copy the link by clicking the icon here, or you can simply just copy the link from up here. And go to our user config directory and type in the command git clone and paste in the link that you copied. So what you have to do is move in whatever themes you want to install and put it in the colors folder. So um, let me just pick group box and let's try that out. Open UVM, type in color scheme, and hit tab, and you can see that group box is added to the list. And that will change the theme to group box. Now, after you change the color scheme to group box, what happens is after you quit UVM and open back again you see the group box theme has gone away and it's back to the default color scheme so to make it permanent what you need to do is open init vim file and put the color scheme 
and groove box and save it so new them will run all of the commands that it finds inside this file every time it starts so that you don't have to type color scheme group box every time you want to use them so after you quit them and open new them again you can see that the color scheme is now group box